Meat Boy is back and today I'm going to show you guys an hors d'oeuvre kind of like meat appetizer recipe that you could serve to your guests for a holiday special occasion. Got this idea from beef negamaki which you might have had in a Japanese restaurant. It's like thinly sliced beef rolled up with some scallion and uh, maybe we'll make that next weekend but today we're going to do something that I like my take on it. Very simple so let's show you guys the ingredients. Now all you really need is some type of meat and a filling, whether it's mushrooms or onions, and that's fine. Uh, we have roast beef already thinly sliced and cooked, so that's gonna be really convenient. If you don't have roast beef, uh, this is the grass-fed from Frankie's Syringe Meat, then you wanna get something that's relatively thick cut, like a really thick ribeye or something, slice the meat really thin, and then you could roll the vegetables up in that and then cook the meat afterwards. But the roast beef just makes the whole process really easy. Like if you don't have a deli slicer, if you don't wanna to have to cut the meat thin, we're using organic shiitake mushrooms, some organic garlic, and some thyme as our you know, main filling flavors. And then we're gonna deglaze with some collagen broth as well as some white wine. Pretty basic French technique, you know, building flavor with stock and alcohol. Uh, salt to season, of course. We might spread a little bit of mustard on the inside of the roast beef. I think that's going to be a really nice touch, add some more flavor, a little bit of acidity, some complexity. So let's get this over with because it's like five in the morning and I'm exhausted. So we'll put our pan here on a high heat with a little bit of oil. Now I'm going to use a lot of fat when I'm cooking these vegetables because the roast beef is very lean. Uh, if you're using a ribeye or some type of fatty meat, then you don't have to add as much fat. Uh, this is the garlic and the mushroom that we have chopped up. Then we add a tiny bit of salt to season this. And guys, be careful with the salt from Frankie's range. I mean, it's very potent. You know, I would say it's about three times stronger than regular salt. So you want to use a third of it. Could also put our sprinkle of thyme in now. I forgot to buy the fresh stuff, so we're just gonna do half a teaspoon of dried thyme. So while the mushrooms are going, we can get some of the meat ready. And again, if you don't have this roast beef, what you want to do is slice something really thin. And you're gonna do the same thing, except you're just gonna have to broil the meat in the oven later or sear it in the pan or something uh, if it's not cooked. So the roast beef we have is sliced pretty thin. Uh, we don't do it paper thin because then it just kind of falls apart when you take it out, but we got some nice long sheets here. I'm just gonna get a little color on some of the mushrooms and then we'll put some collagen broth in here so I don't smoke out my kitchen. So half a jar of the broth, which is eight ounces. Now we did the beef shank recipe a few weeks ago where we did a very similar technique uh, a few months before that, we made some balsamic glazed mushrooms, which is almost identical technique to this. So um, this is very, very versatile. I like, I like these mushrooms a lot with everything. So uh, if you guys saw that recipe, then you don't really have to watch this. Just kind of skip to the assembly part. And again, you could do onions here. You could do all different types of vegetables, whatever goes good with meat. Okay, so all the collagen broth has dissolved. Mushrooms got a little more color in the pan. So now we're gonna add maybe a quarter, half a cup of wine. Really don't wanna overdo the wine here. And uh, I, I like the white wine because the red wine can be a bit overpowering. And these mushrooms definitely need about, you know, five to 10 minutes to soften. So we're gonna add some water to the pan and then reduce it. Just kind of boil the mushrooms to cook them. So the mushrooms are cooked down nice and soft. We're gonna let this cool off for maybe 20, 30 minutes. So mushrooms are cooled off. We spread a tiny bit of mustard on our roast beef. And as you guys can imagine, I'm just gonna put some mushrooms on here. Not too many so they don't fall out. And then we're just going to tightly roll our roast beef. You can use more mushrooms, you can use less mushrooms. It's really up to you. And then we just take our toothpick and kind of keep it together. Take maybe a quarter teaspoon of mustard, spread it all along the roast beef. And we'll take a few mushrooms again and roll it up. And the difference between this being like super, super presentable versus kind of like DIY is how you cut the meat. So if you have like a really rectangular piece of steak or whatever you use with solid edges, that's gonna make it like a really nice shape. But I mean, this still looks pretty good to me. 
So it's really late guys and I couldn't sleep. So I'm kind of having these as my protein source for dinner, but let's try it out. I kind of want to get one that has a lot of mushroom. This is really delicious. Only thing I can think of differently is the meat was sliced a little thinner or maybe put more mushrooms in there. But I think just the meat being thinner would make this a lot better. I like it a lot, guys. The meat, the mustard, the mushrooms work really well together. So yeah, really nice part of your restaurant. I'd probably do steak and slice it really thin. And then I would serve it with like some type of mustard aioli mayonnaise on the side. I think that's what I would do. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe and uh, surprise some of your family members or guests with something that's not only delicious, it's very healthy, guys. I can eat this on my diet. So you guys can go to frank com to check out all of my businesses, including Frankie's Syringe Meat, where you'll see the roast beef. We also have the collagen broth for you guys. And uh, you know, here we have the water key front, Frankie's Syringe Foods. We just launched organ supplements, new products, and guys, I'm wearing my Wi-Fi shielding attire as always. But as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you soon.